Light Nation, what is good? And Vito and Liz coming back at you. Hola. <laughs> What's good, everybody? What is good? We got the next part of King Crooked and Joel Ortiz. Yeah, so I'm I'm guessing are we just continuing with with uh, the narration I with hope with the uh, narration and the uh, of how Joe Budden screwed us all up. Yep. Slaughterhouse would have been the group, man. Would have been the group. If they, if Joe would have actually just worked through the adversity and not just relied on one person's name and then get mad at said person for not getting big when it's supposed to be off the basis of your work, not somebody else's work. Dude. I just don't get it. Which, thinking about that is ironic in the fact where they, for a guy that's not even supposed to be in it, he blames a white guy for not being able to make it in what is supposed to be the black career. But it's weird because like King Crooked was like, M didn't even start this group. Exactly. So but how are you? You see my point though? Yeah, no, I'm saying. Joe's mad at the white guy for not being able to make it in what is supposed to be the black industry. Something else had to happen between him and M that we we're just unaware of. Because I... Because I, I don't know if you saw it. There was a little video clip that got released, and it was Crooked talking to Button, and Crooked asked him, Button, what did Shady Records contractually promise you that did not get delivered? He couldn't answer the question. Because he got delivered everything that was promised to him. He he couldn't answer. And, contractually. And Button was like, well, who, who gives a shit about a contract? Contracts don't matter. And Crooked's like, you put your name on a contract. You signed the contract. And you And he's like, and then Button's response was, I don't care. I break contracts all the time. And I'm like, that's why no one wants to work with you. Yeah. You hey. can't just break a legal contract and expect someone to be 50-50 all in on a business agreement with you. Exactly. You can't do that. Especially if you're known to break contracts. That's what, So but, what, there's got to be a certain reason because M called him out twice. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a certain right. reason why Button won't it, address the shit with M. And it cannot be just the fact that he's white. Yeah, there, there, it, something it's be happened. Because honestly, Ray should have nothing to do with it. it. No, it something freaking happened. There's a reason why Button don't vibe with him anymore. And I think he's jealous of him. And, it, and it's not just, it can't be just the revival shit. No, it's, there's something more deeper to it than that. There's something deeper to it. There, there's got to be something. And again, it probably might be. And it better, hopefully it's not. But he probably blames M for him not having the career he I, thinks it, he's supposed yeah, to have. Yeah, I, I truly think it's jealousy. But the fact is, you want that career. You need to you go You got to make it. Yeah, you got to make it. You need to keep putting music out. You need to keep building your fan base. It's not on M to build for your real. fan base. Yeah. But and again, M can't control if someone's not listening to your music. And go back to what I said before. Supposedly a black industry. It's not a black industry. It's an industry for everyone. There is no black and white industries. Hip hop is for everyone. People just keep anticipating things and putting race into things for no reason. I mean, was it like... Was it created? Like, was it first done by black people? Yeah, probably. More than likely? Yeah, yes, it was. We, it, but see... Hip hop was created for everyone to have a voice, to express their opinions, to have a, to, to just to have a community of inclusion See, for everyone. You don't have to look like each other to be able to appreciate culture. Exactly. Culture is not owned by anybody. Culture is supposed to be shared. Share, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. That's it's supposed how you to be build shared on it. and appreciated. That way, it can continue through generations. Exactly. Like I don't get what y'all not getting about this. Stop but, with the old white rappers as well. Who gives a shit? If they can rap, they can rap. Like, damn. Exactly. There's a whole lot of black rappers. Y'all you, you, can't stay on a beat. I'm sorry. Yeah, y'all no. can't stay. You're still doing, trying to do the mumble, mumble, mumble. You can't stay on a beat. Yeah. Okay? I'm sorry. No. And, and sometimes you're trying to pick the pocket in between the pocket and you're you, way you, off and that you just not. Yeah. Like, some of y'all try to fast rap. You don't have to be a fast rapper to be a legend. No. You don't. No, you don't. Biggie was not a fast rapper. No. Tupac was not a fast rapper. Nope. Like, 
with the whole shit like, oh, you're only good now if you fast. No. 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 It's no. what you bring it on, what you put it on the table. Jay Cole don't fast rap. Look how no. big he is. He's got some of the nicest storytelling. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Nas never doesn't fast rap. No. Legend. Yep. Like, I don't get what y'all not getting. You have to put out a quality product. Yes. And that also goes with female rappers. Because nowadays, the female rappers that are coming up are barring way harder than the men. That's be- and the ones that think they just need to shake their ass to get people to watch them, yeah, that's going to get you a little boost. But eventually, if you're not doing anything of substance, you're going to lose. Yeah. You're going to lose 50% of who watches you because all you're going to have is... Well, actually, you're going to lose 50% of the 50% that watch you. Like, on- like honestly, some-, some of the... I got to give real appreciation to female rappers because sometimes... Honestly, y'all be rapping harder than the y'all be working harder than the men too in that's, this industry. That's why Snow the product is probably for the real best female product, female female products, female <laughs> rappers going in the game. Like because damn, she doesn't yes. have to overly sexualize herself no nope. at all. She lets her bars. Do it's because she knows she can rap. Yep, that's what it is. Yep. She's not cocky about it, but she's yep. confident in what she can do. Mm-hmm. And don't get me wrong, you're a beautiful girl. Show yourself off if you want to. It's fun. And yeah, just your, if you choose to do that, that's your business. But don't get mad when that's when people that's all they want from you. If that's all they associate you with. Exactly. Yeah. You if can't they don't get mad recognize at that. you for your bars and they only recognize yeah. you as a sex object, that's your fault. That's on you. That's hundred percent on you. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want. Yeah. But don't get mad when that's all you are recognized as. <laughs> we ain't menin' up in here, y'all. That's, that's ain't menin'. But, but anywho. Let's see what Crooked and Joel are gonna continue on with this narration. Of how Joe screwed it all up. <laughs> <laughs> not e- <laughs> just, it's not even the rise and fall of Slaughterhouse. Joe screwed it all up. <laughs> 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 Joe screwed it all I like that. Nobody would fall because we would be each, each other's, other's crutches. crutches. That's what a brotherhood's supposed to be. Exactly. You work and build off of each other. Exactly. Yep. You build each other up. That's what BTS does. You don't tear oh, anybody yeah. down. You if work. if one member's having a uh, problem, everybody, everyone's having a problem. We're, we're getting through it together as yep. a group. You Amen. We're going to sit in the corner. To, no, no, no. What's going on? Yeah, we're working it out now. Yep. Let's do it. Because I'm telling you right now. You, you you looking like this, you go on stage, the whole, everyone's going to know something's wrong just by your demeanor. Yeah. Did he say we were selling out shows without Joe? There was a time Joe Bunny used to be a bad drug addict. Yeah, I know. That's what he was talking yeah. about. Yeah. We were still selling out shows without you, Joe. Joe. So, Joe, you weren't the one carrying the group. Get that out of your goddamn head. Like, I get it, Royce. It ain't Slaughterhouse without Joe. Like, I get it. It's not. It's not. But you still could have done something with the three of them. You could have done something. Or, (laughs) I mean, I think Royce just didn't want Lupe in it because Lupe shit on him. Yeah. Yeah, That's what. Yeah, like, Lupe barred the shit out of him. (laughs) So that's why he didn't. for it, though. Yeah. 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 And again, the sad part was Royce was a little bitch and got on and bitch. Get on the goddamn got mic. on Instagram Live. And You're a legend. Like, get on the goddamn like, mic. Like, why are you on Instagram Live? What, that, are, what is this? You are a legend. <laughs> and you're on the, the Instagram bitching. 
You're Dude, supposed to be a lyrical legend. You can't be hanging around with Shady and bitching on Instagram Live. No. You can't do that. <laughs> when did it, show me a fight Eminem ran from. <laughs> oh, God. If Eminem ever got on Instagram Live and complained about a diss, you know how many fans, how much respect that man would lose? Dude, the closest thing we got was right before fall when he was going through and he said, fuck this, and he went on the song. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? He got on the mic! <laughs> Dude, but when I saw Royce get on, I was like, really? Honestly. You talking about you a heavy hitter, you bitching, like, like you bitching on the gram. Get on the and mic. And no one cares, dude. That's what we care about. You Get getting on the my, mic. Yes. But again, that's my point. Eminem went through that. What did he do? Got on the... Listen. Listen. <laughs> M didn't even have to respond to MGK and he still did it. Yeah. Because everyone knew he would slaughter him. Yeah, everyone knew that wasn't a competition. Yeah, like everyone knew it. But at least we give MGK the credit for trying. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> <laughs> Failed miserably, but dude, he tried. Sheesh. Anywho, let's 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 give we got see what we got. And I honestly much respect for Crook and Ocean Yeah, they just this. the fans want to well, know no, what happened, let's so let's just know. tell them. Joe ain't drink, but he partied on them prescription pills. The one video depicted how he was living for real. Uh, Joe didn't Back drink, state. but he partied, partied on, on prescription, prescription pills. Pill. Oh yeah, he was definitely drunk. Yeah, he was a pill addict. Yeah. He wasn't a drunk. That's that that's Yeah, his. pills was his. Royce his was the alcoholic. Yes. He self he, Fully and then crooked, so was crooked, too. crooked was too. I think uh, Joel he was drinking too, wasn't he? I'm pretty sure he was. That I don't know. I cannot speak to that. I truly I think do not. Dabbled in both. But I I truly sure. don't know. I'm not going to talk to it on it. Yeah, he'll, he'll say it if he did, but I'm, I can't remember. Yeah, I I truthfully don't know. Prescription pills. The one video depicted how he was living for real. Backstage, man, we was like brothers. Nobody would fall because everyone would be each other's crutches. But here's a little something you ain't know. We split the dough, and after the tour was over, so was the show. No hanging out, no phone calls, just holiday texts. And emails from management on what's probably up next. But no amount of money is bigger than ego. Niggas doing deals on the side like Nicky and Casino. Whoa! Oh, oh. So people, oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. All right. So once the tour ended, that brotherhood died. Yeah, and then you got people doing side deals. Okay. Okay. That's that snake so shit. I wonder if Joe also blames Royce for going closer to him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's bigger than ego. Niggas doing deals on the side like Nikki and Casino. Joe, you thought you was the head Gambino. Made decisions with no regard for the next man. We know. Ooh. That you thought you were so the Joe leader. was thought he was the okay. He thought he was the leader of the group. Thought he was running everybody's shit. Okay, okay. He thought he was top dog. That's ego gets your ass in trouble, man. Yeah. Again, Joe thought he was the group. He yeah. Thought he carried the group. If that was the case, how come when the group died, Joe, you did too? Everybody else still rapping, far as I know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. How come Joe's the only one that retired? Joe just podcasting. Exactly. That's what Joe doing, just podcasting. And don't get me wrong, Joe's got lyrics to be a top 50 rapper. But he's the only one that says he's done. Joe's just the old man podcasting right now. That's what Joe does, just podcast. And don't get me wrong, I've listened to Joe Budden's podcast. He said a couple, he, he has good conversations, with one, but then sometimes he just talks out of yeah, his ass. Sometimes he just goes. And I'm just like, what are you even talking about? His ego gets in the way. Like when he said the comment about Logic being a trash rapper, I'm like, yeah, at least Logic's still rapping. Logic sold more shit than you ever did. Yep. <laughs> yep. Logic has made Logic a got impact. back to back to back albums. You got one hit song to your name, dude. Yep. Pump it up. Yep. And you going to talk shit about somebody else? Or what got me is when Joe Budden said, oh, Eminem, I've been better than you for a whole decade. Fucking when? When? How? When? When even though M was in front and center, his label was still putting people front and center? Did Pump It Up even go platinum? No. Like. I mean, how many diamonds does M have now? Three diamond albums. Albums. Al so three, al albums. Not just as diamonds. So albums. And the man got a Grammy an o Oscar. He got two Grammys, doesn't he? 
No, I mean, I was going to say for the song Lose Yourself. Oh, Lose Yourself, yeah. Lose yeah. Yourself. How many rappers you know got an Oscar for a song? My man got an Oscar. And it's going like through. everybody and their grandmother knows the song Lose Yourself. Yep. Everybody around the country knows. Uh, country, globe, if you're living under a rock, people still know that shit. When you think of Joe Budden, people are like, what was he did? Oh, shit. Don't go. You got people who don't got Wi-Fi in their homes and know the song Lose Yourself. Exactly. The head can't be no made decisions with no regard for the next See, man. that's also right there. Joe making decisions without having any regard. Yeah. You got to talk with the group. Who are you? Exactly. You especially if you, especially if, at the, if what he was saying was true. We were doing shows. Where the hell were you? Yeah. And, and you thinking you're running And us? listen, Royce, Cricket, Joel, they got families they got to provide for. Yeah. So you, you're not controlling where all the money going. But he's also talking about the side deals with Joe because Joe was doing Spotify. Dude. 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 Joe dude. was busy doing everything else, not giving a damn what happened. Dude, yeah. Him. Like, come on, man. At least M, he kept trying to keep D12. He kept trying to drag them through. <laughs> like, yeah. And it got to the point where he couldn't do it no more. Yeah, it just and and the members they still make music. It's just exactly, but they just won't do it together. Yeah, anymore. you just people sometimes just, but they all still have respect for M. Exactly, they're not hating on the man. And say, oh, Shady didn't do nothing for us. No, M did everything. He Shoot, could. when D twelve was in their prime. Whoo. But the point is, it's on the individual yes. to get it going. It's yes. on the group itself to keep it going. Yes. When pro- when they lost proof, the group was dead. Yeah, it, so, yeah, bro. Like the second proof passed away, they were no longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. That just that took. M wasn't ready to be a leader. That's he couldn't lead a group. Man. M could get a group going, but he couldn't lead the group. He wasn't ready to be a leader at that time. He was still learning. Crazy how one person can just mess everything up. Yeah, Joe. God damn. But I really thank you, King Crooked and Joel for doing this. Yeah, dude. But dude, we had one thirty-seven, and this is only Joel. Crook Wait. gonna say some oh, shit. Oh, Crook's gonna let it go all out. That rollie lit up nice, it had the large down, but you was on your ish for that ice, just like you are now. Royce, we was pretty tight, then you got around Mike and let him sell you Joel lies at a discount price. But you know quick, nigga, the block enforcer. Only thing you had up on me was that rocket launcher. Got guns too, we had some fun too. Mike check one two, so this is what it's come to. That last phone call revealed it was the last days. Man, I wish real life was like backstage. Damn. Green room bottles full as fuck Bad bitches around that nobody else could touch Bags full of money, choppers on the bus The four-headed monster, who want a problem with us? But see, the problem was us And a whole lot of stuff we probably mm. Nobody wanted a problem with us Because the problem was us G- Guys, lyrically listen to Slaughterhouse God group. damn Like, ly- lyrically listen to to their oh, songs. They were in a lyric lyrically. They awesome were lethal. Group. They were yeah, you didn't want to mess with them. You, you didn't want beef with this. You weren't challenging them. No. They no. That's like when people say like I remember when me like every time Migos drops an out, oh Migos always says we're the biggest we're the best group, one of the best groups of all time. I'm no, like, you're one of the best groups still going. I'm like, dude. <laughs> no. He's honestly right. Migos technically, well, so, they technically had, they had they're still legend. going. But when I was like Lyrically speaking, no, watch your mouth. But statistically, <laughs> Migos is one of the best groups going because of they're, longevity. They're still they're still going. Exactly. They are still going. You can't say that they can't. Fair, fair point. Fair point, Vito. People are still listening to them. Fair point. Still... Fair point. I got to give you that. I'm not saying all their songs are lyrically there. Yeah. I, I see what you're saying. As a group, they're keeping it together because they care about each other. There's... They're still a group. You got to respect them as a group. Yeah, fair, fair Whether enough. you listen to all their music or you like them or you hate them, I like some stuff from you. It's not, they're, yeah, yeah. They're not terrible. Uh, all right, I like some stuff. Fair enough. I mean, I wouldn't say y'all culturally significant. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, not go, I'm not going out of my way to listen to music. Yeah, things, okay? I, I feel you, I feel you. Uh, it's, it's all <laughs> I'm going to listen to, but I'm not going out of my way to listen yeah, to music. Yeah, I feel so, you. But no, you got a point. They're still going. Longevity. Right. I can't, can't, exactly. can't dispute that. Because Joe's right. If, if 
they actually would have because when you're in a group, you have to sacrifice. Uh, yeah. A little of your ego for each other for the group to succeed. Because the group is a collective of all four. Yeah. Or two or three, depending on who's in the group. Yeah. But, uh, you have to sacrifice for the greater of uh, the group. Group, yeah. Unless you're gonna go do it by yourself, then go do it by yourself. Yourself, but Which you can't say you did. you can't say you're part of a group when you over here doing independent shit. Exactly. You can't be trying to make decisions for everybody. Body, yeah. So are we your backup? Yeah. This isn't Are we making decisions as a collective? Who voted you leader? Yeah. Did for... we have a vote? Did I miss it? When was the election? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but see, the problem was us and a whole lot of stuff we probably should have discussed. But we here now, no going back. Hey, at least shit was real when we was backstage. Dear God, thank you for letting me wake up. Feel like I'm in the land of Canaan. Feel like we are the sons of Jacob. Four brothers who destined to break up. But will we meet up in Egypt to make up the snake Ooh. up the tree of life? Who offered the apple? Crook to right in. Oh, crook right in. Right off of you. Dude, that transition off of your well. Dude. Oh, my God. That's a transition, dude. Kane Crooked is underrated. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Like we are the sons of Jacob Four brothers who destined to break up But will we meet up in Egypt to make up The snake up, the tree of life Who offered the apple to Eve See, I bit the forbidden fruit Then I hit the chapel to grieve Cause I knew the truth Damn, crooked Chapel to grieve Damn Cause he has sin Exactly Bro Damn That was a good one Well, they taste fame He bit the apple Yep Damn, I see why M gets anxiety from listening to him, man. Damn. <laughs> Dude, the intricacies are crook, bro. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't talk about crooked enough. No. Dude, probably one of the most slept on. For real. For real. Crook could make an argument for top 10. Dude. Crook could make an argument. If you actually go and listen. Like, skill crook. wise, crook could make an argument. Like, <laughs> for real. In Babylon, shackled by thieves in the lion's den. I triumph when Daniel believed. I was oh my God, dude, the Babylon. <laughs> Crook, stop it, stop it, stop it, Crook. Damn, Jesus, Crook, and he just. The references bro, with Crook. Oh bro, my God. he just started. I can't, I don't, bro. We got two minutes to bro, go. Bro, I can't, bro. Damn. Damn. Damn, Crook, damn. Two minutes, damn. Two minutes damn. seconds to go. Shackled by thieves in the lion's den I triumph when Daniel believed I was a slave to my loyalty Measure the pressures like trying to measure the desert Feeling lesser and lesser jokes I was a slave, slave to, to my me. loyalty Damn! Bro, <laughs> who else says I was a slave to being loyal? Mm. Who says shit like that? Damn! I was a slave to my loyalty Shackled by thieves in the lion's den I triumph when Daniel believed I was a slave to my loyalty Measure the pressures like trying to measure the desert Feeling lesser and lesser Joseph never treasured Ooh. my efforts Trying to measure that pressures like and, trying to measure the desert And Joseph never treasured yep. What did he say? Joseph yep. it's Just like trying to measure the desert Feeling lesser and lesser Joseph never treasured my efforts Joseph never treasured my efforts Bro the sad Bro. part is, honestly, Crookwood probably should have been more the leader of this group. Mm -hmm. Dude, Crook might be better than Joe. <laughs> like, uh, like, Crook is better than like, Joe. Like, damn. Crook's still rapping. Dude, fair enough. Crook fair is enough. better than Joe. Fair enough. Joe, <laughs> Joe, you... Damn, Joe, you really fucked this all up, bro. <laughs> you, Joseph never dang. treasured my efforts. One man really jacked up all this potential. Damn. One man's ego. Yep, yep, yep. Ego, man. Joe cared more about his personal fame than making sure his brothers came up that, with him. That ego, man. I know they're not his actual brothers before anyone says that. Clearly. Clearly. They were his rap brothers. Bro, dude. They were his group brothers. They were brothers. When y'all gonna recognize, man, ego is not the answer to anything. No. Real men know how to choke on their ego yep. when it's needed. To. You gotta swallow your pride and just, you know, 
Sometimes you gotta swallow your pride and just admit when you're wrong. Real men know when they need to stand for their pride, and when sometimes you need to check your pride. Honestly, sometimes the best thing you can do in a solution is shut the hell up. And that's how you gain respect too. Like, you know? there's right no. times to talk, no, and there's that's right. What time. happened? They shut the hell up, and this is what happened. Yeah, they didn't discuss. Yeah. sometimes you need to be the voice of voice, reason yeah, in the room. Good point. Sometimes good you point. need to speak up. Dude, this is because sometimes if what someone's telling you is bullshit, you need to call them on their bullshit. Yeah, like damn. That's why true friends. All right, even if you don't like it, even if you feel like it's messing up your happiness, someone who truly cares about you, they don't care about upsetting you. They're gonna tell you when you fucking up. Mm-hmm. Point blank. Period. Yeah, and that's why yeah. I try to keep informing you about everything that's going on and having you want you to be more informed about like, everything. Honestly, you may you sometimes. You may not like it. You may not um, the the path you were vibing with may have felt. Sometimes you just need people to tell you like you following some dumb shit. Mm-hmm. And there's a right way and a wrong way to do that. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't spot a goat like shepherds and leopards, but I oh my god! god! Oh my god! But the, but the end of it. The end of it. The end of it. He can't. What? Bro, the, the, the end of it. A slave to my loyalty Measure the pressures like trying to measure the desert Feeling lesser and lesser Joseph never treasured my efforts He couldn't spot a goat like shepherds and leopards But I'm a king like Nebuchadnezzar yes, And his name's King Crooked yeah. Bro, <laughs> bro Crooked, you gotta calm down, dude you, got, you, Crooked, you don't gotta do all this, my man Dang. You ain't got to do all this, my man You, Damn <laughs> that ho- Dude <laughs> Damn, crook. Damn, crook. <laughs> Jesus. You treated me like I Back pretty up. much thought I was a ship. I'm your kid. Like, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Spot a goat like shepherds and leopards, but I'm a king like Nebuchadnezzar. Yes, sir. Bag of gold for us. I took the Zion, but the three man story didn't fit in the book of Ryan. I would be. Lo- Ooh. The and that's the name. Sh- and that's the name of Al- Voices album. That, the yeah. three man story didn't he, fit he, in the he, book. He, of Ryan. Damn, yeah. damn! I tried to put this shit on Royce's album, and it didn't fit in the book of Ryan. Yep. Damn. So Royce wouldn't even put his damn on his album. Cause it, dude, was there a feature from any Ma- of them? Is that is that the name of the the, the album? I think. Yeah, book of Ryan. yeah I think that. Crook featured on it, but th- maybe. There was more features supposed no, to be no, no. on it. Were they though? That was a good I voice. can't remember the album exactly what was on it, word for word. Yeah. I honestly I don't remember Crook. I think Joel was on it, but it was Crook. It's not a coincidence that the man said the book of Ryan. No, that can't be a no, no, coincidence. No, no, no. He said book of Ryan for a reason. Yeah. I mean, we could look it up in real time yes. here and see if he did it, but yeah. I don't know. If you, go ahead. If do you I like, have the? Do you have the album? I think I. You have might have it right on you. I can't remember exactly uh, song for song. I, I'm, I don't have it wrong. Book of Ryan was actually a pretty good album. It was. We got you guys. We got you. Ian's got Book this. Because why else would he have Sorry. said Book of Ryan? Where the hell am I? Oh, here we go. No, I don't think he's on it. Nope. None of them, right? I don't think he's on it now. No. Nah. No Ortiz either, right? No, nah, I don't see it. So that's what, that, that, that's what he's saying. I don't think so. Wait, unless this is it. Come on, give me the... Come on. Nah, that wasn't him. Nope, nope, nope. nope. So, I, thought, I saw King and I thought maybe... Nope. So that's what he means by the three men couldn't fit in the book of Ryan. Yeah, maybe that's what. Yeah, damn, that's so you, tough. So we're supposed to be your brothers, but we couldn't. You couldn't even let us do a feature. Not even let us. You didn't want to work with us on your album. Yeah, damn. Not, it's not letting us do anything. You didn't. You didn't care enough about us to want to do a, a project with us for your book of for your album. Yeah, that's rough. Damn, they put because if Crook was doing an album, he would have went to Royce. Dude, Royce got Royce implicated now. <laughs> Hey, it's, I don't know if we can put all this blame on Joe. It's not just Joe. It, Royce implicated now. Like, damn. Well, they're talking about the side project. This is like a court of law up in this shit. It's, the way it's <laughs> seeming is Crook and Joel tried to keep things going as a group. Yeah. Trying to make sure they did things together. Yep. 
Royce and Joe cared more about doing things themselves. Selves, yep. They couldn't give two shits if the group succeeded. They cared more about the personal success. Damn. Because Royce has had plenty of personal success. Oh, pl- oh yeah. Yeah. He hitched his wagon right there. Yeah. But, dude. Damn. Damn. Crooks, Crooks bring it facts. Yeah. <laughs> we looked shit. it up. Hey. Just to that, make sure. I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it. Goat like shepherds and leopards, but I'm a king like Nebuchadnezzar. Yes, sir. Bag of gold for us. I took the Zion, but the three man story didn't fit in the book of Ryan. I would be lying if I didn't say that rock hit me like the one that shook the lie at the giant. I dropped quickly. Ooh. I was trying to. Do this. I'm not going to lie if that rock did. So. I wonder if they did songs together that was supposed to be and they on, just and, and he and, dropped them. and Royce just didn't put them on. Cause that why else would you feel a certain way? It's one thing not to be asked. Yeah. To be honest, imagine going through the process, working and putting together the songs, just to be like, those are the ones that you dropped off the album. And that's not a coincidence. You dropped the ones that had the featured your brothers. Yeah. Nah, man. Cause they didn't fit. Into your book of Ryan? That's tough. That's that's just... And they apparently didn't fit into any other project because we've never heard them. That's some fucked up shit, dude. See how people do you? That's just... Cold, that's cold-blooded. Probably example of someone who's supposed to be your best friend. Yeah. You're supposed to be best friends. Friends and then... Yeah, damn. Just be brothers. Y'all cold blood. Y'all cold blooded. You threw your brothers under the bus at the first chance at personal success. Yeah. That rock hit me like the one that shook the lie at the giant. I dropped quickly. I was trying to organize the Last Supper. If Joseph is married to retirement, why are we making the fans suffer, y'all? Oh my God! I was trying I to get would. the Last Supper. Damn. Crook is. I keep trying to get everybody to do something. I'm the one that's but trying to. Joe is married to retirement, so what's the point of making everybody suffer and wait? Damn. Dude, I'm starting to think Crooked wrote the Bible, bro. Dude, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think. Like, damn. Like, Crooked, you been here before? I'm, I'm, I'm a Crooked's like, version of the Bible. I'm like, like, I'm like, I might read that book. Like, damn. He's really wise. Oh, he is, dude, he, he is really wise. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm not talking that much about this because I don't know what happened. I don't know nothing you're like, you're about learning. that. You're learning. You're learning. I'm learning. You're learning that... Damn, well, dirty. Had a reason, had a play, a part to play. Dirty deeds and were I'm done in sure, this group, To man. some extent, all four of them had a part to play in the destruction of the group. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah. Everybody has their part to play. Joe seems to have the biggest, but Royce definitely had his part. Listen, some listen. King over here commit. King and Joel got misdemeanors. Ro, Joe got felonies. Exactly. <laughs> okay. It, 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 so. Yeah, though though uh, Royce might be pushing himself to a, to a account of a second degree felony. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Royce might be hitting that second degree Yeah, Royce charge. might be hitting felony, man. Hit me like the one that shook the lie at the giant. I dropped quickly. I was trying to organize the last supper. If Joseph is married to retirement, why are we making the fans suffer? Y'all making our path rougher. In the belly of the whale like Jonah, we ate sushi. And that's such a rap. Oh. In the belly of the whale, we, we ate sushi. sushi. Good God, Crook. Oh, I get In it. the belly of, of the, the whale, whale yeah. we ate sushi. Damn. In the belly of the whale, like Jonah, we ate sushi. And that's such a rap hustler for ya. I'm the Samson that y'all made. Delilah gave me a ball fade. Cut off my crown, now I'm tied to two pillars. Enemies all around till God sent me the strength Ooh. to bring the house of slaughter down. Cut my crown off, I'm tied to two pillars. Dude, the freaking bars of this. The, the freaking bars. Damn! I died and came back as John the Elder. Wrote a book about our bad ways. A revelation about our last days. Now it ain't nothing left to tell you. This the last page. The story's over. No more backstage. Man. I guess I thought shit was sweet. Cause sugar and salt look the same, you know what I mean? Oh! Damn! Damn! <laughs> Damn! Sugar and salt look the same. Damn. 
crooked. You didn't have to go all in like this. It wasn't real. And God gave me the signs. That's why this verse is biblical. Green room bottles full as fuck. Bro, bro, stop, crooked, stop. That's why this verse was it's biblical. biblical because God gave me the signs. signs. Damn. It's so funny how you said, uh, uh, are you sure he didn't write the Bible? Like, I'm starting to think, man. <laughs> starting to think Crook been here before, man. That's why this verse is biblical. Green room bottles full as fuck. Bad bitches around that nobody else could touch. Bags full of money. Choppers on the bus. The four headed monster. Who want a problem with us? But see the problem. So that's the hook. And a whole lot of stuff we probably should have discussed. But we here now. No going back. Hey. At least shit was real when we was backstage. Damn, bro. Get out to the Getty. That shit's sad, man. Damn. Dude, one of the greatest groups that could have been. Could have been. Could have. Honestly, probably. Should have been. Probably could have ended up being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Probably would have been. Like, damn. Because, well, dude, with... Rook, Crooked's ab lyrical ability with Budden, if they... If, when Royce, when they all care, bro. Damn, dude, they'd be shitting all over Migos right now. Oh, if they actually, <laughs> for if real, they, dude. If they actually would have cared more about, damn. But a lot of times it's hard to put personal success aside for the betterment of the group. Yeah. But it all depends. What do you, what do you want? Do you want personal success or do you want your group to be up there? True. True. Do you want everybody to come, or do you just want to get to a point where you can say, screw them, I'm good? Team player or stardom. Exactly. Damn, man. But the best team player is the star that plays for the team. Yeah, because he wants to get everybody, they want to get everybody involved. Exactly. Damn. The teams that win are the ones that have the star players that care about the team more than just themselves. They know they need to get theirs for the team. But without the rest of the team, they can't get there. Yeah, they can't get Yeah. Damn. This, I mean, I'm enjoying listening to this. Oh, yeah. This now is, we, we get in, the, we get in the, the details of what's been going on for so long. Oh, you know, this is pissing Royce and oh, Joe off. Oh, this, this, oh, yeah. This is completely pissed off Joe yeah. Royce and Joe. But again, get on the mic! Yeah, if you got something to say, don't sit on freaking Spotify. Don't sit on freaking IG Live. Respond. I bet you Joe, all he did was bitch about it on his podcast. Yeah, respond. I would love to. I, I would love for Joe if, to get on and tell his side. If Royce and Joe came, even did it together and responded, I'll listen. Yeah. I'll listen to hear your side. Maybe they have something they need to may, say. May, yeah. But your silence is speaking louder. Oh, you're, oh. Honestly, silence sometimes speaks way louder than any vocal yeah yeah oh, so yeah. but guys i hope y'all enjoyed this one like comment subscribe blow us up y'all know what to do thanks for stopping in spend some time with us today. hit that notification bell and give us a share because it does help the channel out please and thank you all see you guys in the next one later y'all later Bye.